the Astari tribe under his thumb, Dr. Bremer conceives a fantastic idea. Speak for yourself, John. Be sure and don't let the phantom out once I get him in there. Leave it to me. My people, I have conquered the flames again. Welcome, old phantom. I have waited many moons for this hour. Now I know the reason for my urge to come here. I, the daughter of the sun, believe that you too are immortal. Phantom is a man who never dies. Prove that to me. Go through these flames and come out unscorched, the same as I did. Listen to them. They say you're afraid. The Phantom doesn't dare. I'll do it. With the understanding that after I come out, you'll immediately release my friends. Your request is my command. I am ready. One man in a million. The Phantom is dead. Henceforth, I and I alone shall rule all peoples of the jungle. What do you wish done with the prisoners? They will be disposed of later. Just a moment. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to release them according to our bargain. You're not the Fire Princess. Distari! This woman is a fraud, and I'll prove it! Look! This is the door through which he escaped from the flames. 
Starry, you've been misled by this woman. Are you going to stand for it? Get out of here right away. What happened? Everything went wrong. The phantom got out of the fire and then made a monkey out of the princess. Did she tell him anything about me? No, I let her have it before she got a chance. Good, then I can still accomplish what I came here for. But if we're going to get the best of the phantom, you've got to do exactly as I say. You can count on me, Doc. Good, come on. Why don't they hurry with that stretcher? Here they come now. Run up all the white men in this village. I want to question them. Yes, ma'am. Wait here. I'll get some natives. Over on the pallet. We're looking for the man who shot you. Thank you. Tell me, who are you? I'm Ruby Dawn. I was a dancer in Saipan. You should have stayed there instead of attempting this crazy stunt. A person has to eat, you know. And Saipan is a tough place to make a living. I suppose those white men in the village are with you? Yes. The four of us came here together. Ask her about Sarka. There's a chief named Sarka who ruled this tribe. What's become of him? He wasn't here when I arrived. Now tell me the truth. Who's behind all this? Who sent you to this place? Why did you have my friends and myself brought here as prisoners? That wasn't my idea. Get on in there. Does anyone here know this man? I do. I caught him trying to sneak out of the village just as I came in. He's the man that forced us into the boat after the natives surrounded us. Pick pocket from Brooklyn, eh? Keep an eye on him. You're just in time, Doctor. The girl's badly wounded and needs medical attention. Oh? This is indeed a surprise. We thought you were in Longo. No, I just returned from there. I was on my way to Sopana when I heard the drums telling of your capture. I came as quickly as I could. Well, let's have a look at her. She's fainted again. She's dead. I'm sorry, I guess I didn't get here soon enough. Moko and his starry warriors catch these men. Good work, Moko. Put them under guard. I shall judge them in the morning. Hello. Moko bring important news. Moko find Chief Sarka. Sarka? Where is he? Him very sick. You come, I show you. Uh, Dr. Bremer, you better come along. The rest of you wait here, please. This way, Master. Come on, fella. Sarka in there. Sarka. Sarka, this is the Phantom. Too late again. The poor fellow's dead. No, him not dead. When Moko come before, he hears Sarka groan. Could it be possible, Doctor, that he might have been drugged? Well, that's hardly likely. Sarka was leader of a peaceful tribe. Moko, you're right. Sarka is alive. What? I've never seen a trance like this before. You've got to bring him out of it, Doctor. Well, I'll do what I can. It's a matter of finding the right antidote. I'll get my medicines. Uh, Moko will get them for you. No, thanks. I'll have to mix a prescription for him. 
I won't be long. We won't be in here long. Bremer will get us out the moment he shut Sarka's mouth for good. Why didn't he polish him off in the first place instead of just slipping him that Mickey? Well, he wanted him to hold us a threat over the fire princess in case she stepped out of line. Who cares about that? All I'm interested in is to get out of here. Phantom think that you escaped and then abducted me. Why go to all that trouble? Because I know he'll search for him. I've got a trap all set for him. What makes you so sure you look for you? Phantom knows I'm the only one that can save Sarker's life. Nothing like leaving a clue. Come on. Number two. He comes through this door, we've got him. Through here. See this rope? Controls a trap door on the floor, right here. When the phantom hits it, he'll drop to the level below. What's down there? Just a big surprise for the man that never dies. <laughs> hey, when'd you rig this up? I didn't. I'm just taking advantage of what the Estrella used for the execution of the criminals. Get back in there, boys, and wait. Drake, you go to the entrance. If you see him coming, let us know. I just had to come here to find out how he is. Don't worry, Dr. Bremer just left to fix the medicine. That's just not out of it. He'll have to bring him, too. You know, Zarka is the only one who can tell us how to get his Olus. Yes, yes, I know. But this weight isn't doing him any good. Bremer should be back by now. I'll see what's delaying him. Go on. Dr. Bremer. I just saw the Phantom and his dog coming this way. Good. Get back in close. You stay here, devil. missing ivory key? Are these strange men another group of saboteurs? Learn the answer in The Emerald Key, the next thrilling episode of The Phantom at this theater next week.
Professor Davison from learning about the seventh ivory key, Dr. Bremer has abducted Sokka, chief of the Hastari tribe. When the Phantom finds Sokka, Dr. Bremer, to avoid discovery as the ring leader, carries out another plan. Nothing like leaving a clue. Come on. Number two. Comes through this door, we've got him. Through here. See this rope? Controls a trap door on the floor, right here. When the Phantom hits it, he'll drop to the level below. What's down there? Just a big surprise for the man that never dies. <laughs> hey, when'd you rig this up? I didn't. I'm just taking advantage of what the Estrella used for the execution of the criminals. Get back in there, boys, and wait. Drake, you go to the entrance. If you see him coming, let us know. I just had to come here to find out how he is. Don't worry, Dr. Bremer just left to fix the medicine. That's your snap out of it. He'll have to bring him, too. You know, Zarka is the only one who can tell us how to get his oldest. Yes, yes, I know. But this weight isn't doing him any good. Bremer should be back by now. I'll see what's delaying him. Go on. Dr. Bremer. I just saw the Phantom and his dog coming this way. Good. Get back in close. You stay here, devil. Pieces. But if he gets out of that, I'll say he is immortal. Uh, he seems to be coming out of it. I wish the Phantom had stayed here. <coughs> hey, Devil Bach. Phantom, come back now. Phantom's not in sight. There must be something wrong. <coughs> Devil say, come with him. You stay. Watch Saka. Me go get warriors. Look for Phantom. Phantom's dog's leading the warriors here. Make a break for it. I'll meet you later on the trail. Hey, Scott, wait a minute. Talk much to me up. I gotta look manhand. Okay, go on, beat it. Medicine man. You hurt? Yes, Moku. 
fight with bad white men. Where is Phantom? They did away with him. You ought to know better, Doctor. I'm the man who never dies. Have you forgotten that? Why, you startled me. Looks like they must you up a bit. Yeah. Man, oh man, am I glad to see you. <laughs> now, please hurry and attend to Sarka. Uh, Sarka no need, Doctor. Sarka all well again. That certainly is good news. Professor Davison with him. I'm sure Professor Davison is extremely happy because Sarka may finally put him on the road to Zolos. My debt to you is a steel on cave. What is this information you seek from me? Professor Davidson here is searching for the lost city of Zolos. He believes that you may be able to tell him how to find it. Zolos? I remember the name, but vaguely. Maybe these will help you. Now here are six pieces of ivory, more or less keys, which when put together form a map. Now, this is where the seven key belongs. Long ago, it seems, I remember of such a rare piece of ivory. Yes, I remember. And it had a green jewel in the center. Yes, an emerald. Can you tell us where to find it? Think, Zarka, think. He who owns this rare piece will never part with it. He is a tyrant to be feared by all men. Quite a character, isn't he? You aren't referring to Tarta by any chance, are you? Do not speak lightly of him, Phantom. He is the enemy of all peoples of the jungle. As far as I'm concerned, that's just a wild rumor. But it's naturally up to you, Professor Davidson, to decide if you want to go on to Tarkar's domain. Will you stay with the expedition? Of course. Then why do we hesitate? You're right, my dear. After all we've been through, I hate to give up now. You're right not to give up, Professor. If I could spare the time, I'd go right along with you. Answer the tortoise call. Hurry! What is the charge? Noble Tar, this miserable creature says he was lost in the jungle and passed through unknowingly. Does it matter what the fool says? That is for me to decide. You may speak. Estabedo, Ungabora, Mungo Daigo. I know you don't understand me any better than I do you. Therefore, I'll have them show you what it means to disobey my orders. Have him executed. Listen. What is it? Sounds like a signal. I'd like a chance to reconnoiter this area before we go any further. Devil, you stay here. No, you've already taken too many risks for our sake. Please don't worry, I'll be all right. Loku, make camp here and wait for me. Yes, Master. What do you make of these warnings? Only that another man is trespassing on Carter's domain. Well, for his sake, I hope he's not headed for this castle. Well, if he doesn't come here on his own accord, the scouts will pick him up and bring him here anyway. Close the portal! report another man has entered your territory. Bring him before me as soon as he is captured. One false move and you're a dead man, Charter. I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
my weapon's more powerful than yours. I come in peace. I bear you no evil. Foolish man. Don't you know I have anyone destroyed who trespasses here? I'm quite certain that you'll make an exception in my case. Ha! I admire your courage. Who are you? I am the Phantom. Ah, the man who never dies, huh? Why do you come here? To ask you for that jeweled piece of ivory, the seventh key to the map of Zolas. I've never even heard of it. I know you have it in your possession, and I'm willing to pay whatever price you ask. I don't believe you, Phantom. You don't seem to have much choice. Now, do we have a deal or not? I am sorry, but it is you who has no choice. My lieutenants will escort you to the execution chamber. Shall we prepare his execution? Ah, uh, not yet. His friends are near our border awaiting his return. Kirak, take some of your men and escort them here. Your orders shall be obeyed. Rava, guard the entrance. Oh, Phantom. I thought you'd like to know your friends will join you soon. You wouldn't dare touch them. They're not in your domain. Ha ha ha. You see, unfortunately, my lieutenant is very poor on geography, why he can't even remember our border lines. You can't abduct my friends. You ought to thank me for delaying your execution until they get here. What's the meaning of this? What's happened? The Phantom Master, he attacked me and escaped. You clumsy fool.
Captain, bring down the portal. Can the seventh key be lost forever? Will Tartar take out his wrath on Diana? Don't miss The Fangs of the Beast, the next smashing episode of The Phantom, at this theater next week. search for the seventh ivory key, the Davidson expedition enters the forbidden domain of Tartar, ruler of Akira. The Phantom tries to bargain with Tartar for the missing segment to the map of Zolos, when suddenly... What's the meaning of this? What's happened? The Phantom Master, he attacked me and escaped. You clumsy fool. Mind? How do you expect to find him in the jungle from the dead of the night? Yeah, but you know what the Tartar will do to us when he finds out that we let the Phantom escape. Did you forget about Carrick, who's on his way to capture Sapphire? Carrick will get the Phantom when he returns to his friends. Come on. Moko worried. Phantom gone too long. Probably he and Tartar have struck up a friendship. I bet he got the seventh key from him, and he's halfway to Zolus by now. I don't know why you take such a nasty attitude. The Phantom's doing all he can to help mm -hmm. us. What is it, Devil? Maybe him smell animal. Moko get caught and scare them away. Bow! Super Bow! Bow! Where are you? Bow! 
Get in shadows, away from fire. Heaven, you got here. Where's Diana? There in the tent. Diana. Diana! She was there just a moment ago. You search over there. I'll take a look around on this side. Professor! Over here! Quick! And come. Where is she? Where's Diana? Here's her hat. Why? She can't be far away. Maybe they take her to Tata. I'll try to head them off, but if I can't, I'll follow them back to the castle. But Moku no like you go back there alone. Don't worry, Moku. Byron, the man who attacked you is Karak, leader of Tata's men. Hold him prisoner. <laughs> Professor Davison! Devil, him hurt! Him hurt bad. He's been hit on the head. Seems to be coming out of it all. No word of the Phantom yet? No, Master. I hope for Rafa's sake that he soon recaptures him. No sign of the Phantom. I'm dead tired. I can't search for him any longer. Don't worry. Carrick has nabbed him and his friends by this time. They'll all be here before sunrise. I hope you're right. I'm afraid to face Tartar and tell him I've failed. Then I'll be glad to go in with you. Greetings, gentlemen. Get inside. Close the portal. Tartar will sure be glad to see you again. Master, I have captured the Phantom. Here's a liar. I return here on my own free will. If that be the truth, then you're either a fool or a very brave man. Rafa, you know the consequences if you lie. Did you actually capture this man and bring him back here? No, Master. Get out of my sight! Tell me, Phantom, why have you come back here? To suggest an exchange of prisoners. You're holding Miss Palmer, and I've got your lieutenant. What do you expect to gain by that crazy tale? I'm not in the habit of abducting women. Let go of me! Let go of me! Not much you aren't. Guards, release that girl! Phantom, please help me. I'm sorry about this. Believe me, I gave no orders to have this girl captured and brought here. Then release her at once and let me take her back to her friends. Just a moment. You said something a while ago about an exchange of prisoners. That doesn't apply now, since by your own admission, you do not consider this girl a prisoner. 
True enough. But you must admit, she does make a very fine hostage. Look, Tartar. I came here originally on a mission of peace. I wanted to make a trade with you for a piece of ivory that meant nothing to you but much to me. So you said. Yes, but you refused to believe me. Try to kill me and then send out to kill my friends. You know my laws. Those who trespass my domain must suffer the consequences. My only desire is to keep the peace of the jungle. Yours, I believe, to be a just ruler over your own domain. That's right. Then why shouldn't we be allies instead of enemies? Very well, then. You shall stay on here as my guests, not as my prisoners, until Kerak has returned. That's fair enough. I'll write a note to my friends. They won't release Kerak without it. Well, how will they know that you actually wrote it? I'll seal it with my signet ring. <laughs> All right. You may write your letter. Guard, bring pen and paper. Tartar's mad to break the law that protected us all these years. You're right. He makes friends with a few strangers now. Many more may come later. <laughs> Maybe he's falling for the charms of that girl. Too bad. There's nothing we can do. Or is there? Looks so authentic enough to me. It carries the Phantom's mark. Yes, his mark, all right. But it could have been put there by someone else. We'll have to take a chance on that. It's the only way to get Diana back. Kirak will be ready to leave with you presently. Morko, come here, please. You called Morko? Yes. Your master wants us to turn our prisoner over to these men. They are going to take him back to where the Phantom and my niece are now waiting. Moko understand. Phantom's smart. Make Tata trade prisoner. I hope the Phantom isn't letting Tata make a fool of him. I'll take a chance on the Phantom. You gentlemen go with Moko. He'll turn the prisoner over to you. This way. Judging by what you just told me, the men who are interfering with you and your friends don't want you to reach Zolos. Very likely they too are after the treasure supposed to be hidden there. But my uncle's not looking for any treasure. He's searching for the lost city in the interests of science and culture. And I don't think that those men are after any treasure either. Oh? How do you figure that? Simply because instead of trying to keep us from getting it, it would have been smarter for them to let us find it and then take it away. Is it possible that they have already discovered Zolos and have found some secret use for the city? I'm sure you're right. I felt that way about it for a long time. We have just returned with Kerak. Good. Bring him in. I thought you said Kerak was alive. He was when I left him. He was dead when we found him, and we had to fight to take him away. That's a lie. Why should I have asked you to send for him if I knew he was dead? Look at the mark on his chin. That's the imprint of your ring. He attacked me, and I defended myself. But I know I didn't kill him. Just the same, I don't propose to exchange a live hostage for a dead one. Then you don't leave me any choice. Step back, all of you. Don't be a fool. You may shoot me and some of my men. What do you think will happen to you and the girl when you've run out of bullets? All right. What's your proposition to let her go? For the amusement of myself and my men, I would like you to fight my champion, powerful Brutus. All right, Harder. But on one condition. Win, lose, or draw, this girl goes free. I agree. I have no interest in her. And in addition, you will allow the Professor Safari to continue on its way, unmolested. Agreed. Now, give me your guns. The contest must be fair to both opponents. I give you my word, you'll be treated fairly. Rafa, sound the gong. Summon the guards to the arena.
through to center. Byron turned traitor, and will Bremer succeed with his evil plans? Don't fail to see The Road to Zolos, the next absorbing episode of The Phantom, at this theater next week. men capture Diana and bring her to his castle in the mountains. To gain her freedom, the Phantom agrees to fight Brutus, the savage gorilla. center.
Phantom. I'll talk with you in the throne room, Phantom. Raise the bars. Oh. This will make it possible for you to locate the lost city of Zolo. It's what you came looking for, isn't it? Yes. You knew all the time that the missing segment was hanging around the gorilla's neck. That's why you asked me to fight him, wasn't it? Of course. I wanted to make sure you were truly worthy of it. Take it. You won it fairly. Thank you. You've kept your word. Bring sparkling burgundy. We shall toast to the success of your safari. And then, we'll toast my new lieutenant, the Phantom. But you promised to free both of us. Well, you misunderstood. The Phantom only fought to free you. That was the understanding, Diana. I realize now the Phantom fought Carrack fairly, but since... Carrick was my best warrior, and as I must replace him, why not with the one who proved himself his superior? If I can prove that I did not kill Carrack, will you still insist upon my staying here? Oh, definitely not. In that case, you would be under no obligation to me. Very well, Tartar. I think I can convince you. One of those three killed him. You lie. The skull from your signet ring still shows on Carrack's jaw. I intend to support my accusation by a test, which will compel the guilty man to convict himself. Proceed with your test, Phantom. Watch carefully, Tartar. As you see, I've put the same amount into each glass. Now select any one of them. You see? It's harmless to the innocent, but it will kill the guilty one. Now, let me see you three drink your wine. You heard? Drink. I have nothing to fear. Now, you... Now you, Rafa. Drink! No! God, stop him! Mercy, Tartar! Did you show Karak any mercy? You have condemned yourself just as the Phantom predicted. Do your duty! No! No! Try this sometime, Tartar. The solution I put in the wine is a great cure for malaria. Wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> well, at least you proved your point. Adam, you came to me as a friend, and I treated you as an enemy. But now, when you leave here, you go as my friend. At last, Professor, this puts us on the road to Zolus. We won't have any trouble finding it now, thanks to you. Well, now that we know where to find the city, how are we going to locate the treasure? If it's there, we'll probably find it in the catacombs, which are indicated on this map. How long do you figure it will take us to reach Zolus from here? What do you think, Moko? When sunrise, we start. When sunset, we're there. That means it'll take a full day. I suggest we start at sunrise. Well, I guess I can wait a little longer. One thing I want decided right now, Professor Davidson, how much of the treasure do you intend giving the Phantom? Any part that he may claim. He deserves the largest share. After all, he's gone through for us. I expected you to say something like that. I know your interest in Zolus is purely scientific. But please understand that I'm in it only for the cash. As far as I'm concerned, I don't want any part of that treasure. That's very generous of you. And as for you, Byron, understand once and for all, 
that any valuables we may find will have to be turned over to the Melville University, which financed this expedition. If the university decides to reward you financially, that'll be all right with me. Thanks. Well, it's getting late. I think I'll turn in. There you see, right out of the catacombs onto the airfield. But we can't start construction on the runway for the planes until we get natives to clear out some of that jungle. I still think we ought to get started on this ourselves instead of waiting for that day to come. It's taken us two days now to lug all this stuff from the outside in the tunnels and from the tunnels here. We're staying underground forever. Save your breath, Rocco. With this underground layout and the extra tunnels we're pushing through, this will be the greatest arsenal the world's ever known. Sure it will. If they don't send us an engineer pretty soon, there's liable to be a cave in here. We don't know anything about excavating. Will you let me worry about that? Just bring the rest of that stuff in here. Why should Byron sneak away in the middle of the night? If he wanted to leave us, why didn't he do it openly? What is Moko? Moko find tracks. Him go trail that way. I'll bet he's trying to get to Zolas ahead of us. He hopes to lay his hands on that treasure before we even have a look at it. I'm afraid you're right, Diana. There's no doubt about it. But I'm afraid Byron didn't figure there may be others there ahead of him. Who could they be? Possibly those men who've been trying to stop us from getting to Zolos. Then what do you think we should do under the circumstances? I'll try to head off Byron. You follow behind. Moku, you take charge of the safari. Come on, boy. Hurry up, Moku. Let's get moving. Moku, make porters go quick. Hi! See, it'll be a very short passage. I don't think it'll take much timbering. We come in there. Well, well, if it isn't good old Byron. What are you doing here, Dr. Bremer? Shut the door, Rocco. Stick around, pal. Welcome to Zolus, Byron. Come on, sit down. We'll have a chat. Go on, get comfortable. The professor's safari must have gotten out of Tartar's clutches after all. Yeah, and I can feel a phantom breathing down my neck again. Will you two be quiet? Now look, Byron. I want to ask you a few questions. Well, devil, Zolos at last. Let's go down and take a look at it, huh? 